Okay. Hey there, you all. Day five of the journey to freedom. And today we're talking about how prioritizing your health will help you create the freedom that you want in your life. And um, right now, I would like for you to get out your journal and write in your journal what or who is frustrating you right now in your life. Like you just can't even stand it anymore. And write that down. I'll give you a couple seconds. All right, now you're thinking about this situation or this person that's really frustrating you right now. Write down what you're thankful for in regards to the situation or the person. What are you thankful for? What's the lesson that you're learning? Who is the person that you have the opportunity to be in the challenging situation? And notice how different you feel writing down what you feel thankful for versus in, in the blaming and irritation state of mind, the low vibration, like we called it a moment ago. Just notice the difference going from blame and frustration to going to gratitude. How does it feel in your body? Take a moment and notice that. Because I noticed that um, a lot of people that I work with will tend to be very up in their minds. And even when they have a solution, they'll just zoom right into the next thing without anchoring in and feeling it first in the body. And that's a moment of self-care, right? And that will help you to prioritize. When you prioritize yourself, and fill yourself up, it gives you the ability to pour into others. And I've shared this before, you cannot pour from an empty cup. How many of you feel like you're exhausted and frustrated, you're not working out, you're not going to sleep early enough, <laughs> you're not choosing the healthy nourishing foods that you know that you should be choosing? Um, I would like you to have take a moment of uh, just be authentically honest and admit if that's true for you. Write it in your journal. Also, if during this journey you've been feeling overwhelming emotions and then going into judgment about it, about yourself, or even if you're observing other people sharing and you find yourself judging them for that, I want you to take a moment and acknowledge that. You can even write it down. I am judging myself or I am judging others, or maybe I'm judging myself and others. <laughs> um, I want you to understand that having overwhelming emotions is a good thing because that means you're allowing this transformation to happen within you. Now, here's the other thing. If you do not prioritize self-care when you're going through these times of magnificent transformation, then you will result in total breakdown, total meltdown mode, total irritability. Why? Because it's like you're short-circuiting yourself. And so I want to make sure that you have specific self-care activities scheduled throughout your day. And we've shared some of them as we've gone through this. But basically, the you know waking up in the morning and using your app, either Abide or Breathe, and that's B-R-E-E-T-H-E, or the U version Bible app, or another one that I use is called the Seven Minute Workout. Write that down, Seven Minute Workout. And if you look it up in the App Store, it's Seven M W C. 7MWC for 7 Minute Workout Club. It's $2.99 and so worthwhile. 
because I'll share with you all. Um, I can get really frustrated and irritated by the weather sometimes, and then I'm trying to work, and my kids are talking to me at the same time, and I feel like I short circuit, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> I don't want to snap at them. And so my thing that I do, I mean, right, you can spare five minutes, can't you? to get yourself back on track. So I made the decision when I start to do that, that I'm gonna go and I'm going to, I always ask my, one of my kids, do you wanna go do the seven minute workout with me? And so we go into my bedroom and we set my phone up, we turn on the app, we do seven minute workout. And you know what? Every single time, guess what? I feel incredible within seven minutes. Uh, hello, if you're not employing these short little bursts of self-care and getting yourself back on track for a few minutes a day, don't you think that that's a form of self-sabotage, right? You know what will get you back on track, but you're choosing not to. Write in your, or write in your journal, I know how to get myself back in the zone. Why do I choose not to? Why do I choose self-sabotage over freedom? And how does choosing self-sabotage not serve me in creating the life of my dreams? How does choosing self-sabotage not serve me in creating the life of my dreams? And then I want you to think about what are some ways that, that you can just kind of take a time out. And we all know the verse, be still and know that I am God. So I want you to think about how can, what, what could you do to just take time out and prioritize some self-care? What are some ideas? Okay, and think it through, write them down in your journal, I could dot, 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 right? For me, I shared a couple. I said, I can use the Abide app for five minutes and do a meditation and prayer, dig into some uh, Bible, Bible verses, you know what? I have that app on my hand, or uh, on my phone, so it's at hand at a moment's notice. Um, I could do my seven minute workout, I can leave the house and walk down to the barn and give the horses an apple. I could go outside and play with the dogs. I could take my boys and we can jump on the trampoline. There's all kinds of things that I could do for literally five to 10 minutes that will completely reset my emotional compass. And if I'm choosing not to do that and I'm derailing an entire day, you all, what a waste. Think about that. You had 12 hours of, or 10 hours, eight hours, whatever, number of hours of productivity time, and instead derailing, right? <laughs> instead, um, you're just allowing yourself to indulge in the depths of despair and being down in the dumps because you didn't take a moment to write down the different ways, the, your, your tools, right? That you can access at a moment's notice. There's notice those things I mentioned, they don't require a lot of time or money, do they? No. Okay. Another thing that I love and is essential for me is a nightly bath every single night. I do an Epsom salt bath. Sometimes I'll add two cups of apple cider vinegar. I'll add lavender essential oil. It is a priority, a priority for me. Every single night. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, it's a priority for me every single night. Okay. So think about what it is that will help you close your day. 
So also I love doing one of, I love doing the breathe or abide app while I take the bath. That's very helpful too. Don't fall into the habit when you're doing these things of scrolling social media when you should be unplugged. It's very important that you do a digital detox every day, even Sundays. I run a multi-million dollar business and Sundays are a day of rest. And guess what? My business hasn't floundered as a result. I am more productive as a result. I've noticed when I prioritize my time to work when I'm meant to work and rest when I'm meant to rest, I don't feel burnt out. I don't feel crazy. I don't feel at the beck and call of everybody else's agenda. I feel in control. And I, th I think that people need that kind of thing, that kind of control feeling, don't we? We can't just allow everyone else to determine our value on our time. So we need to have some parameters. And there's nothing wrong with, with having work hours, office hours. There's nothing wrong with deciding I'm going to do Sundays as my day of rest. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's recommended in the Bible. <laughs> so I love that. I love to also think in my mind, um, every seven days is a day of rest. Every seven hours is a day of rest, right? Think about that. Or not a day, but an hour. Every seven hours is make sure you're taking a break. So don't find yourself working more than seven hours straight ever, ever, ever. You should be taking a rest break during that time as well. Personally, I will make sure to um, prioritize a five minute break every hour. And then every, for every seven hours, I'm sure I take an hour off. There are times where I have to be working a lot. But again, I know that the time to rest is scheduled. I know what my tools are to help me get reconnected to my soul rather than get disconnected and spin out of control and go into burnout, which I'll tell you, burnout's no fun. Been there, done that. So um, consider that as you're you know, processing what I'm sharing with you today. Have you been prioritizing self-care? Have you been prioritizing downtime, time to be still? time to feel connected? Are you prioritizing drinking half your body weight in ounces of water? Are you cho choosing the nourishing food rather than reaching for junk food because it's easy or saying, oh, I can just take a balance for that. That's bad mentality. <laughs> there are people that say that. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I've helped you with some ideas for how to prioritize self-care now. I want you to look at your list because I had you just drop them all down onto paper and circle, let's say three to five. What will you incorporate throughout your day? Three to five items throughout your day. You can space it out, you can schedule it, you can set your timer. Now here's the cool thing about the Breathe app is you can actually tell it to send you an alarm notification that it's time for you to do five minutes of breathing and prayer and meditation time. Such a cool, cool feature. Um, now, if you make these decisions to be conscious, to eat healthy foods, to be still, to get the exercise that you know you need, and if, and if any of you are not getting exercise, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give you a 30-day challenge to incorporate it daily from now on. That can be a walk, that could be a treadmill, that could be a little trampoline jumping time, <laughs> that could be a hike, that could be walking through the park, that could be the seven minute workout that I shared you, I shared with you a moment ago on the app. It's, it's called 7MWC, it's $2.99, so worth it. Um, and there are a lot of seven minute workout apps, so you can kind of play around with that. But personally, why not? Like, I feel like, why should I, why wouldn't I do those short bursts of activity because I've already discovered that within that short amount of time, my mindset goes back right to where it needs to be to be productive. Um, also, whenever you're going through personal development and new transformation, remember in the future to always prioritize your self-care because that will help you to avoid feeling burnt out, 
or like you're gonna have a meltdown or you're like on a you will be on an emotional roller coaster when you're going through a transformational time in your life but that's natural that's being human and so be the self-care helps you to stay present in the process rather than go into avoidance because you don't want to feel the feelings because they're uncomfortable okay so the self-care even if it's even if it's something that you're doing that you're not actively engaged in reflecting on what you're learning or the transformation or whatever it is right it's still allowing in the subconscious mind to catch up with the new beliefs that you're writing for yourself okay what's that say yeah thank you <laughs> my son Noah writes me notes while I'm on a video to ask me things <laughs> um, okay so I hope this is helpful for you today and I know that Joe asked me about why is the apple cider vinegar beneficial in the detox bath it's because of the pH levels there's probiotics in apple cider vinegar and it actually apple cider vinegar is also very helpful to take an ounce of it and put it in eight ounces of water and drink it once or twice a day it's very good nourishing to the body okay so we um, you'll notice that I'm going to be starting a detox week for you to encourage you on the journey of prioritizing your health and what we're going to do is help the body be more alkaline because in a more alkaline body we are healthier a more acidic body is caused by things like processed foods sugar alcohol you name it <laughs> those things you probably shouldn't be eating or drinking um, so detox week is coming next week and what we're gonna do is you can participate if you have our thrive products or not either way I've got plan a and plan B but if you want to participate with the products, you'll want to get an order placed today so that you can participate. You'll need to have your three core products, additional lifestyle mix, boost, and balance. Okay, that's the three core products, additional lifestyle mix, boost, and balance. What we're gonna do is take these products, be conscious of our, our eating habits, drinking more water, not drinking alcohol during this time, not consuming the sugar, and taking that balance, taking that balance at the end of the day will help to cleanse your gut, help with another additional shot of those probiotics. And that's gonna improve your immune system, it's gonna give you more energy, it's going to prepare you going into spring and summer to have as much energy and vitality as possible. Now here's the cool thing, when you're feeling your best, you're doing your best, aren't you? You're not dragging yourself through the day. So this is an important time to do that because spring is the time of planting seeds. And you know, you've heard me share that as it relates to your business. We plant seeds, we tend to them, and then we have the harvest. This is called the law of the harvest. So we can do that too with our bodies. And remember, you cannot pour from an empty cup. So if you haven't been feeling your best and you've been struggling in this, um, this transformation journey to freedom is getting you down emotionally and spiritually, um, it's time to add this little component, a spring detox, making a conscious choice to choose green leafy vegetables, to have your lifestyle mix. I'll share the plan with you with the Thrive Experience. You take your three core products in the morning. Um, someday during the, or, sorry, sometime during the day, later in the day, you'll also have that second lifestyle mix. And then you're going to also have a boost in the morning and a boost in the afternoon. And then you'll take your balance at the end of the day. Make sure you drink half your body weight in ounces of water. Cut out sugar. Cut out bread if you can, or carbs like that, um, gluten. And cut out alcohol. Okay, that's gonna be our plan using the Thrive Experience products. If you're doing the plan and you don't have the products, it's, it's totally fine to do as well. You just wouldn't add those in for the additional support. You will still experience detox incredible benefits if you eliminate the sugar, you increase your water intake, you go to bed an hour earlier, an hour, I said it. <laughs> and on Sunday, digital detox, no electronics <laughs> and you can do this anytime you don't have to just wait to do this with us we're gonna do it next week because I know some thrivers wanted to get some orders placed to make sure they had all the products on hand but you can do this anytime I personally make sure to do this type of detox or 
cleanse once a month, once a month for three days. Sometimes I might go longer. I listen to my body though. If I'm starting to feel sluggish and I notice my emotional derailment being more frequent, <laughs> then I'll do an emotional detox because what that does is it's like a reset for me. It gets me back into prioritizing self-care. Remember, you cannot pour from an empty cup. Your health is your future, right? If you want to avoid feeling like crap in the future, prioritize your health today. <laughs> if you want to succeed, then discipline your thoughts, right? This is, um, all these things are tied together. Okay, so today is Friday, and I promised everyone I would keep today's video short. And I will be, I have to sign off because every Friday I have a friend who comes. She is a baker. She learned very special skills at a very exclusive baking school. And, she, and because we homeschool our kids, we do Friday baking day every Friday. So she comes every Friday at this time. I can hear them out there. They're making homemade Swiss rolls, <laughs> you know, the chocolate cake, and then you roll it up with some filling inside. So my boys love learning that. It's going to be yummy. So if you have questions, comments, you want to share where you're at, I will allow you to do that on the day five post in the event. Look for the link for the spring detox so that you can click going to that event. You can invite your friends to it. Again, people can do it if they are thrivers or not. It doesn't matter because I have plan A and plan B. And yes, Michelle, hi, I saw you say have fun baking. Thank you. Um, yeah, so it's going to be incredible. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause briefly in case there is someone who is just dying to speak up today in relation to today's topic, prioritizing health and self-care. Anybody want to share? <laughs> Sonia, I keep watching you fan yourself. I can only imagine it's hot there, which is hilarious to me because this morning I woke up zero degrees. No joke. Go to my Instagram stories. And you can see all the blizzard drama that's been happening here on our farm. <laughs> Love it. Okay, anyone? Press mute to unmute or raise your hand and I'll unmute you. Otherwise, we will sign off today. Okay. Oh, Kimberly says something. There you go. Where are you? Now I can't find you. <laughs> I can see you. Maybe you did, maybe you hung up already. I don't see you. Unmute your phone, you guys. I can't figure this out. There you are. Can really say something? Yes. Can you hear me now? I can. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm I good. think it's great. I think it's excellent that what you're doing with the whole detox um, program, and it, it'll be very beneficial. I know when I'm doing that, it makes me feel really great. I've never done it the way you're doing it with the Thrive. I've done an extra shake, but I like the fact that you're adding two boosts in and telling us exactly how to do it. And self-care, when I was doing my, my Epsom salt baths and um, apple cider vinegar baths and things like that, consistently, it does center you. It does make you feel really good. So I really appreciate you and all that you're doing for us. and pouring into us. I appreciate everybody. So I just finally wanted to say hi. <laughs> Hello. <Hi. laughs> and have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for saying hello. And um, I'm excited to hear your results with our detox. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, we're signing off then and look, looking forward to more information to share with you about the detox and why it's important and how it will help your body. In fact, Sonia, maybe you and I can do a little interview tomorrow at this time. I don't know what your schedule is. Yeah. And, uh, and, and we can go through each of the steps of the detox and then why they are beneficial, why they are chosen for you to prioritize during that time. Okay, sound good? Excellent. Awesome. All right, you all, we'll talk to you soon. Stay tuned for the interview with Sonia, who is our, how do I say, naturopathic nurse practitioner, right? Yay. Okay, we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Love you. <laughs>